Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you how to take your makeup from day to night. So the makeup that you've been wearing like all day long, we're gonna go from this to something a little bit more like nighttime, evening, dope, sultry, whatever. So the first thing is, especially if you know that you're gonna be going out like later in the evening, to do your daytime, this is a tutorial that is already up probably, if it's not already up, no, it'll, it'll be up by the time. Uh, so you have seen this look. So if you wanna know like how I achieved this situation with the exception of the lip, cause it's basically come off, uh, that's somewhere, I don't know, I'll put it in a card or whatever. Something that I mentioned in that video is if you know that you're gonna be going out like later in the evening and you're gonna have to touch up your makeup uh, or you're gonna wanna do something a little bit more intense for the evening, you want to make sure that you're like basically focusing on creams during the day, uh, applying like less powder, uh, yeah, just trying to like focus on not as much powder and more cream or things that will be easier to kind of like build off of. So for instance, I did not wear any foundation today. I just wore some concealer. I used essentially, I used a tiny bit of powder because I was looking a little bit oily up in here. Um, no, no powder underneath my eyes. Um, I used a cream highlight, that kind of thing. Because I knew I was going to be touching up. The cat's eating lunch. If you hear like gross noises, it's just Eva. <laughs> The first thing that you wanna do is obviously like assess the situation. Like how does your skin look? Is it dried out? Is it too oily? If my like sunscreen, I've been wearing this for a while now and the only thing I would say I have a little tiny bit of settling in these lines here, a little bit of like pores kind of coming through here. If this is like super dry, if I have patchiness in certain areas, if it's really, really oily, sometimes what I'll do is not go in with a makeup wipe usually. I'll use one of those, you know, um, I think it's Chloe Morello. I don't know if she's like the brand ambassador, if it's her brand, but the halo, those like halo things, they're a little abrasive, I think, uh, but something along those lines, I'll just get it wet and kind of like remove what I can and then redo my skincare. But I'll leave my like my brows and like what's around my eyes. I'll kind of just focus on like my under eyes and any problem areas basically. Today, I think that my skin looks like pretty nice. Like I'm pretty happy with it. So if I don't feel like I need to remove anything, I will kind of rehydrate with uh, this guy. I'm gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip Mist. And this will just make it a lot easier to layer more creams if necessary, which it is. Sometimes, especially for my under eye, if my under eye seems like it needs a little bit more hydration, I'll just mist that onto my under eye sponge and I'll just kind of like work that underneath my eyes to kind of like rehydrate that area and also break up that old concealer because I know I'm gonna be going in with new concealer. So by adding that moisture back, it's just going to help those creams like blend into whatever is already there. Take that around my nose to break up that area. Kind of pressing that product like back into my skin if it's kind of settled in certain areas or if your pores are kind of like popping through, you know? Okay, so for evening, I usually like something a little bit more glam, a little bit more coverage. So I'm going to go in with um, a very light layer of a foundation on top of this. So I essentially have like everything. I have bronzer, I have contour, uh, I have blush, but very, very tiny amounts of it. So I'm not gonna go in with too much because I do have a little bit of coverage. I kind of have like the bones left of what I was previously wearing. So I'm gonna use the Very Valentino foundation. This is in the shade LN2. And then I did obviously rehydrate my beauty sponge. So this is just a beauty blender. And I'm gonna kind of like dot this, especially in the areas where I, oh, I forgot that they, I forgot about the perfume in this shit. <laughs> especially in the areas where I like to have more coverage. And then I'm slowly gonna just kind of like blend that out. So you can see I'm not really taking like a ton of it onto my cheeks because my cheeks don't really need that much coverage. And I also have blush there being very, very careful. You can use a brush if you need to go around your eyebrows. I'm very careful around my brows. And then as usual, I'll kind of assess like where I just need a little bit more, trying to go in with like a little bit less to begin with so that it's easier to build up. 
All right, now I already have some coverage going on underneath my eyes. So what I wanna do instead of like going in and concealing, I wanna do some brightening because I really love to create like a bright lift, uh, especially for like more glam looks. So I'm gonna go in with my Rare Beauty Concealer in the shade 100W. So this is what I'm gonna use to like really, really brighten. It's the lightest shade that they have. And I'm gonna place this in here, right here, and then right there. If you watched my like go-to daytime look, I don't even know what it's called. Essentially the steps are the same. We're just kind of like intensifying the highlight, intensifying the contour, building up a little bit more coverage. We're just, everything is just gonna be like a little bit more elevated. If you watched that other tutorial, I primed my under eyes with the Milk Under Eye Primer, which really helps to hold on to concealer so that you don't have to use a powder. And that's kind of been my like go-to under eye situation recently um, because I've been trying to avoid powders as much as possible. And it did a really good job of like holding onto my concealer for, you know, my go-to look. So I'm just kind of adding on top of it. All right, now I'm gonna go through all of my like contour steps. So drawing my contour on my cheeks here under, <laughs> I love a double chin, below my lips, nose, and then I'm just going to kind of intensify this lift that we got going on there. And then I'm going in with the bronzer that I used previously. Oh, right here. Uh, the Rare Beauty bronzer stick. Place that there. I like to do this. Blend it out with that same brush that I used earlier, the Sigma brush. Obviously I'm filming this all in one day. You might wanna watch that video before you watch this one, otherwise you might be confused. So I'm essentially building on top of what I already have and just kind of like amping it up a little bit. I might kind of speed through this part just because like from here, it's essentially like any other makeup tutorial that I do. One of the reasons that I like to amp it up a lot, once again, the sound is the cat, uh, for evening is because like a lot of the time you go out to dinner, there's like uh, like ambiance and like mood lighting. Maybe you go to a club, it's dark. You can get away with using like a little bit more of everything because it's not gonna show up as much. Especially with like, um, I don't know, like if you go to a restaurant or a club where they have like colorful lighting, it totally makes your makeup disappear. <laughs> so that's something to keep in mind. That's like one of the reasons girls wear like so much makeup when they go to the club. See how our base already like looks, it just looks like, it still looks really natural and pretty and clean, but it just looks like more, it looks like more. All right, I was wearing a peachy blush before, um, which would still work, but I wanna wear a purpley one because my shirt's purple. So I'm gonna try this one uh, score from, once again, About Face. I'm a little nervous about this because it does look kind of dark. <laughs> I guess I'll use this guy actually. So I'm just gonna pick this up. I'm gonna dot it on the back of my hand so it's not so, oh, that's a nice color. It looks like it's gonna be way more intense. Oh my God, that's so gorgeous. I'm so glad that I used this color. It's so pretty, oh my God. I love it. What, what is this? Score, about face. Truly the best way to apply these. I cannot stress it enough is with a damp sponge. If you have these and you don't like them, try it with a damp sponge, I'm telling you. Uh, and then I'm just gonna go in and do a little blending with my foundation sponge. All right, I wanna do my eyes now. So I'm gonna zoom you in. So I didn't use any eyeshadow primer when I first started this whole situation. Uh, so I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Original Priming Potion. I'm not removing my eyeshadow because I wanna use that general shape. It basically is a contour anyway, so I don't mind that it's there. I guess I kinda of got covered up by that anyway. All right, I'm gonna use a little bit of my Makeup Forever HD, Ultra HD setting powder, just like around my face a little bit because I do have some dew coming through here. And I'm a little worried about fallout for my eyeshadow. Honestly, probably should have done it first, but I didn't think about that.
Um, I'm going to use the Danessa Myricks Lightwork Volume 3 palette because I bought it and it's amazing. Look at how amazing it is. I'm going to build up what I originally did using my Kevin Aquan Medium Sculpting Powder and the original brush that I used from my daytime look, which is the Refer Number 14 brush. So I'm going to build up this contour out here. So I had this nice, like lifted, kind of triangular cat eye shape going. So I just wanna build that up a bit more. So really giving my eyes like a nice lift here, pushing this area back. It's literally the shape that I created, so I already kind of like have the guide. I'm just using a slightly darker shade than I had to my temple, and we'll touch up the brows, don't worry. Then using a pencil brush, I'm gonna pick up that same color. I'm gonna blend it all along my lower lash line. Kind of like intensify that smoky look. I love doing this for nighttime, smoking out my lower lash line because uh, it pushes this area back in space and brings like my under eye forward. Especially in those like low light situations, if I don't do this, then like certain lighting can kind of just like really intensify like a sunken under eye and it's not so flattering. So doing this helps to kind of like minimize it. Just makes it a little bit more flattering in those like low light situations. And I'm just building it up a little bit more on the outer, very outer corner, and then kind of like blending it up. This is actually gonna be my first time actually using this palette. So I'm gonna go in with this color right here, which is Aurora, which has a really beautiful reflect. It's mostly purple, but it's got kind of like this, um, I don't know if you can see that right there. It's kind of like a, almost a green, like a sage green in there. Is this a finger shadow? I really don't know. I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to pick that up with my Sigma E54. I'm gonna take it all the way to the inner corner. And then I'm just gonna like, so I'm focusing it mostly on the lid and then I'm just gonna start kind of like diffuse. Oh no, fuck, I have so much fallout. <sighs> Shit. We'll fix it. Definitely do your eyes first. So I'm just gonna buff, now that I've got fallout, fuck it, I'm just gonna buff into that contour shade. Just kind of like filling in the gaps, essentially. If I could go back, step one would be do your eyes first. Just saying. I'm gonna grab that blending brush, the rougher one, and pick up that same shade. Actually, you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna pick up Galaxy, which is that darker purple on my rougher brush, really tapping it off. Grabbing that same dark purple shade, Galaxy, on that pencil brush and dragging it just on the outer corner of my lower lash line. All right, if you have a ton of fallout, which I absolutely do, what I do is typically try to kind of like brush it away <laughs> if I have powder down, but I don't. So I'm gonna use one side of my sponge and I'm just gonna like wipe it away essentially and go in and touch up. If you kind of just like really gently like buff it into your skin, you can pretty much get rid of it. It's not a big deal. The concealer that I used uh, this morning was fondant by uh, Sephora, the gel serum. And it has like a nice warmth to it. So I'm just gonna kind of like use that to bring that warmth back because if you have a dark shadow and you just kind of like blended it into your skin, um, it's probably gonna end up looking a little bit gray. So I'm just gonna go in now and blend that out. See, it's essentially gone. I don't see it. All right, I wanna add something to my waterline. So I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Aqua, Aqua Resist Pencil. This is in Ivy. So I'm gonna place this all over my waterline and I'm gonna drag it down a little bit onto my lashes to make sure that I'm like closing that gap. And then I'm just gonna go in with that pencil brush and kind of like buff just at the base of the lashes. Um, if you have sensitive eyes, very sensitive eyes, and you tend to, like your eyes tend to water, this is waterproof, the Aqua Resist. They're waterproof, but they're also very creamy. So they don't like tug on your eye line, if that is like one of the things that contributes to your irritation. All right, I'm gonna place this on the outer part of my upper lash line as well. So kind of thickening up that lash line. I've got my pencil brush handy. I'm kind of gonna like create a little bit of a 
fat wing shape and then I'm gonna just pat it so that I'm blending in this area. Um, all right, well, I can't find my hen dash liner, so I'm gonna use Ofra Verified Liquid Lie Liner. And I'm just gonna create like kind of a straight wing from like the bottom of my lash line. I'm gonna keep it kind of like thicker and then blend it into this upper part. But then I wanna kind of like bring it down onto my lower lash line as well. All right, if I'm forced to touch up my mascara, I'm gonna wear lashes probably because number one, I think it just elevates. And also going in with a second coat of mascara, you always kind of like run the risk of like making your lashes too heavy and then they fall, you know? So I'm gonna go back in with the Tower 28 mascara, which is what I use today. And I'm really gonna load up my lower lashes. All right, before I apply my falsies, I'm going to do highlighter, which is typically something that I would do before a mascara, but I forgot. This isn't going very well. Uh, for my highlighter, I'm gonna start off, actually, yeah, I'm gonna start off with, um, I'm gonna use powder highlighter, which I like to use when I do something a little bit more intense. So I'm gonna use Veska Moonlight, which I just found out that um, Smashbox bought Becca Moonlight. So I think I'm gonna have to buy that one because I haven't had that in a long time and I miss it. Really load up the inner corner, helps to kind of combat the smokiness of the eye if you feel like it's gotten too dark. I'm gonna hit the tops of my cheekbones. All right, and even though I went in with a purpley blush, I'm still gonna go in, oh, I can't find it, with Becca Champagne Pop. I just put things back after you're done using them and then you can find things. All right, I'm gonna go in with that all over my cheeks and then up to my temple. And then I'm gonna go in with my Wayne Goss Contour Powder to do a little bit of extra refining. If I feel like I need it, I usually like to just amp shit up a little bit. It's like I said, for nighttime, you can get away with doing just like a little bit more. I lied, I'm using a little bit of my like powder concoction, but I'm not taking it like super heavy under the eyes, mostly just like right here. So around my nose, side of my nose, buffing just a little bit under the eye. I kind of just want to brighten and set this area. Usually I would like put a ton of powder like right here. That's not what I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna mist my face very distantly with the Urban Decay D Slick Mist. I'm going back in with the brow pen that I used earlier, which is Taupe by NYX to redefine because when you go in with uh, eyeshadow and like your foundation and all your like powders and all that shit, you tend to lose definition, especially around the tail. So I'm just going to bring that definition back. I'm gonna use um, the Auric Full Clouded Lashes. I'm just gonna trim off the last segment like that's usually what I have to do. Do you guys need an updated video about how to apply false lashes? Cause I have really good tips. I did a video like a very long time ago. Let me know. Ooh. Those are pretty sick. Um, okay, so we're almost done. Just lips. So I'm gonna use the same lip liner that I used for my daytime look. This is Gone Grage by Maybelline. I'm just going to sharpen it a little. And then I'm gonna go in with Ofra Sao Paulo. Do I like that color? Yeah, I think I do. I'm just gonna tap it out into that liner. Damn, man, that was really long. Um, <laughs> So that is the finished look. Thoughts? I really like it a lot. Uh, so it's obviously drastically different than what we had previously. I'll do a little side by side. Actually, I should probably zoom you out a little bit more for that. Very different. But what I like about it is that everything looks elevated, but it still looks, like my skin still looks really clean. It looks comfortable. It feels comfortable. 
you know? But the eye is elevated, the lip is elevated. We went in and we like built up the contour. I guess we didn't really intensify the brows, but I mean, we added lashes, you know? A structured lip, really glowy cheeks. Finish is beautiful, I love it. And I think the funniest part, the best part, is that I used essentially all of the tricks that I did in my like daytime look. Uh, I just kind of like switched them up a little bit. I either intensified them or I just like added a little bit, you know, which are basically the same thing. Uh, all right guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, the main things to keep in mind are just kind of like to rehydrate your skin, assess like what your base is. If you need to remove it, you should keep easy things or things that are time consuming like your brows, making sure that you're not going in with too much powder if you know that you're gonna have to like touch up your makeup later on or if you're gonna build on top of it or whatever, like if you don't have time to just like remove it and do it all over again. And try to minimize your time by making the most out of like what you've already done. Uh, all right guys, I hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you wanna see more like day to night looks, if you have anything specific in mind or any like specific problems that you would like addressed. Happy to help, you know? Uh, yeah, okay, thanks for watching. Hope it helped and I'll see you soon.